This training video provides an overview and installation steps for the Avigilon Unity H6A Fisheye camera. This camera model provides a maximal panoramic view, precise imaging, and AI power insights, all from a single point of view. The H6A Fisheye camera delivers expansive coverage in a discreet and easy to install design. It offers 360 degrees and 180 degrees panoramic views, making it ideal for mid sized open areas such as healthcare facilities, financial institutions, factories, and more. The important safety information is detailed in the H6A Fisheye Installation Guide, which is available for download on our website. Before installation, please consult the installation guide and the series of supplementary videos. The supplementary videos overview important steps for video analytic cameras, such as pre-configuration, configuring SD cards, mounting and aiming the camera, and more. The camera may be installed in numerous environments for maximum versatility. This training video will overview the steps for the surface mount. Other installation options are overviewed in the installation guide. Ensure the camera package is intact and there are no signs that the camera has been dropped or scratched. Ensure the package contains the Avigilon H6A fisheye camera, a surface mounting template sticker, a star-shaped screwdriver, a power terminal block, a solid wall accessory kit, a three-hole or single-hole rubber grommet, an RJ45 grommet piercing cap, and a quick start guide. The package also includes a mounting plate adapter for electrical box installations and a conduit shroud for side entry conduit cabling. These tools are optional and can be used based on the selected mounting option. To complete the installation, ensure you have a Phillips screwdriver, a small slotted screwdriver, a drill with the appropriate drill bits, and a wire cutter. These tools are not included in the package. This camera can be pre-configured in its shipping box. Access the RJ45 connector through the flap on the side of the box. Please refer to the supplementary video or the camera's installation guide for further steps. First, let's unpack the camera from the package. Be careful not to scratch or touch the dome bubble, as the resulting marks or fingerprints may affect the image quality. Ensure the protective covers outside the dome bubble are kept on until the installation is complete. Remove the cover by loosening the four screws that fix the cover to the base. To loosen the screws, use the provided star-shaped screwdriver. Next, lift the cover off the camera base and set it aside. Unplug the pre-attached RJ45 configuration cable from the camera. The cable may be discarded. Now, let's take a look at the surface mount. In the following segment, let's overview the steps to install the surface mount. To begin the installation, determine the correct orientation. To help with this, the mounting template sticker and the camera body have an up orientation arrow printed to mark which end should be facing up. When installing the camera on a wall, ensure the orientation arrow on the sticker and the camera body faces up. Note that the orientation arrow can go in any direction when installing the camera on a ceiling. Before removing the mounting template, Mark or note the direction the orientation arrow faces after cutting or drilling the required holes. This will help align the camera body in the same orientation when installing. In the following segment, let's mount the camera on the ceiling. When installing the surface mount, the cables for the camera can be accessed either through an entry hole at the rear of the mount or from an external conduit pipe using the pipe entry hole on the side of the mount. Let's review the steps to install the surface mount through an entry hole at the rear of the mount. This is an ideal solution on surfaces that can be easily drilled into and when the cables should be kept out of sight. First, use the mounting template sticker to drill three mounting holes into the surface for the mounting screws. Drill the cable entry hole into the mounting surface. Remember to mark or note the direction of the arrow shown here. The mounting template sticker can be discarded. Then. Place the supplied plastic anchors into the mounting holes. Pull the required cables through the mounting surface and the rear cable entry hole. Next, align the orientation arrow on the camera base with the arrow on the mounting template. Use the provided self-tapping screws to secure the surface mount to the mounting surface. 
Pull the required cables through the rubber sealing grommet. Use a single hole rubber grommet for PoE installations, where only an Ethernet cable is required. If the cable is uncrimped, push it through the grommet. If the cable is already crimped, place the grommet piercing cap on the Ethernet connector and then push the cable through the grommet. When connecting two or more cables to the camera, use the three-hole rubber grommet. Note that the Ethernet cable must be uncrimped to perform this procedure. Thread the Ethernet cable into the largest hole in the three-hole rubber grommet. Terminate the Ethernet cable with an RJ45 connector. Next, thread the additional cables through the secondary grommet holes. For in-depth instructions on inserting cables through a three-hole sealing grommet, refer to the supplementary video or the installation guide. Push the rubber sealing grommet with the required cables into the cable entry hole on the camera base. The flange around the grommet should line up with the cable entry hole to create a seal. Refer to the supplementary video or the installation guide for in-depth instructions on inserting cables through a sealing grommet. Now, let's review the steps for mounting the camera using a side conduit entry hole. This is an ideal solution for surfaces that can be difficult to drill into and where cables should be routed outside the mounting surface. First, use the mounting template sticker to drill three mounting holes into the surface for the mounting screws. When mounting to a wall, ensure the orientation arrow is at the top or the video image will be rotated. Align the conduit pipe as shown. Ensure it is lined up with the mounting template. Remember to mark or note the direction the orientation arrow faces. The mounting template sticker can be discarded. Then place the supplied plastic anchors into the mounting holes. Pull the required cables through the conduit pipe. Loosen the screw holding the cable entry tab on the side of the camera base and remove the tab. The conduit shroud is compatible with conduits that are up to one half inch in size. Use the same screw to install the optional conduit shroud to the cable entry tab position. Pull the required cables through the cable entry hole on the mounting adapter. Next, align the up orientation arrow on the mounting adapter with the arrow on the mounting template. Use the provided self-tapping screws to secure the camera base to the mounting surface. Ensure the cables are not pinched. Pull the required cables through the rubber sealing grommet. Push the rubber sealing grommet with the required cables into the cable entry hole on the camera base. Next, let's overview the camera module. In the next segment, let's review the steps for connecting the cables to the camera module. The camera includes an I.O. terminal block for input, output and audio connections, an external power connector, and an Ethernet port. The camera must be supplied with both electrical and network connectivity. It can be connected using power over Ethernet, auxiliary power, or both. The Ethernet port accepts power and the Ethernet connection to the network. Server communication and image data transmission also occur over this connection. First, terminate the Ethernet cable with an RJ45 connector. Plug the Ethernet cable into the Ethernet port. Once the connection is established, the green and yellow LED indicators will turn on. If PoE is not available, the camera needs to be powered through the removable power connector block. To connect power to the power connector block, remove the power connector block from the camera. Remove the insulation from one quarter inch off the power wires. Then, insert the two power wires into the two terminals on the power connector block. Attach the power connector block back into the camera. For more information on this topic, consult the installation guide. If external input or output devices are part of the installation, connect the I.O. cable here. Before connecting, terminate the I.O. cable using the removable header with push-in terminals. Refer to the installation guide to learn more about power and connecting external devices. The H6A fisheye camera model features an internal microphone, which can be manually enabled or disabled with a switch. Enabling the microphone is recommended before installing the camera in its final location. Let's overview the steps to enable the microphone. First, locate the microphone switch on the camera assembly. By default, the microphone switch is set to off. Slide the switch from the default off position to on. 
Enable the audio feature in the camera web interface. For more details, please refer to the installation guide. In the following segment, let's insert the micro SD card into a micro SD card slot. Note that the camera currently accepts a single SD card in either slot for onboard storage. It is recommended that the card have a capacity of 64 gigabytes or more and a write speed class of 10 or better. If the card does not meet the recommended write speed, the recording performance may suffer, resulting in a loss of frames or footage. To insert a micro SD card, position the card as shown. Gently push the card into its slot. The insertion of the micro SD card is spring-loaded. Do not use excessive force, or the card and the camera may be damaged. Access the camera's web interface to enable the onboard storage feature. For more details, see the installation guide or the supplementary video. To configure the cameras directly from the video management software, use the Avigilon Unity Video Client software or Avigilon Control Center. To configure multiple cameras with the same settings, use the Camera Configuration Tool application. To configure cameras individually from a web browser without VMS, use the camera web interface. Note that the camera's web interface can be accessed only from a computer connected to the same network as the camera. To learn the steps for configuring the camera, see the installation guide. Next, let's overview the camera's dome cover. The following segment will overview the steps to secure the dome cover. Before installing the camera cover, make sure that the required cables are connected and that the network connection is correct. Be careful not to touch or scratch the dome bubble. First, attach the lanyard to the cover. Then, attach the cover to the base and tighten the four screws using the star-shaped screwdriver. Remove the plastic cover on the dome bubble. If the device no longer functions as expected, it may be reset to its factory default settings. Ensure the camera is powered on. Remove the cover. For models with an SD card slot, resetting the camera will not affect the video recorded on the SD card. Press the physical firmware revert button located on the camera for three seconds. Note that the LEDs beside the reset button will turn off. Once the camera has been reset, screw the dome cover back into place. For more details on resetting a camera, please refer to the installation guide or the supplementary video. This completes the overview and installation steps for the Avigilon Unity H6A fisheye camera.